Philippines will have two teams in the AFC Cup group stage due to a new spot by several countries in the East Zone of the competition. One of the Pinoy teams is reigning United Football League champion Ceres Nassau, which is now bannered by ASCAL veteran Stefan Schrock. Joining us today to talk about their preparations for the AFC Cup are Stefan himself and Ceres Nassau coach Ali Go. Hello, welcome to the show. It's an honor to have you. First of all, congratulations on your win last night against Loyola, Loyola Miralco Sparks. Um, okay, 2-1, um, two, two right? Yesterday. How is the team doing? How did you perform yesterday? Did, did it come as expected? Um, we prepared uh, for the EFL uh, Cup, but uh, we are also preparing for the AFC Cup. Uh, we have a game for Shalango and for Bright 23. So, mm. you know, we play differently in uh, the AFC and uh, we have a different tactics for the EFL. But uh, for us, I think we played good and uh, a win is a win for us. So you're preparing right now for two leagues? Yes. And I believe last year there was a UFC League and a UFC Cup, right? Yeah. Can you explain to us, for, for yeah. viewers who are not so familiar with yeah. how football is done here, can you explain yeah. to us okay. um, how that two merged into one yeah. cup? Actually, the, the, there's two, uh, no, two tournaments for the Philippines, for the first division. This is the UFL Cup, which is uh, basically there's a championship, there's a semifinals. There's and then there's the league, which is uh, accumulating points, and then... Uh, which one is more important? Um, because the setup is, if you win win the league, uh, it's an automatic slot for the AFC okay. group stage. Okay. And uh, if, you, uh, if you win the cup, it's a, that's a playoff spot. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, we won the league, and then we have the automatic uh, spot for the for AFC. Yeah, group stage. And then Kaya won the, the cup, so they have a playoff spot. So both the, that, that's the reason why both the teams yeah. are in the AFC Cup. Yeah. Okay, so um, taking a look now at uh, the AFC competition, how tough is it going to be, Stefan? Um, for now, I still have no really a good idea about how the AFC will work. Well, I played in uh, Germany, the Europa League, so it's coach said it's like similar to that, and uh, it's going to be a tough competition, I guess. Okay, Stefan, this is, I believe, your first year playing professional here in the Philippines. Yeah. You transferred from a, you're on a six-month loan from a, yeah, your so German so. football club. Why decide to play in the Philippines? Why not? Mm -hmm. Good well, question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had some offers from uh -huh. uh, Middle East and Thailand as well, but on, also in Germany. But I had an idea always, like, in the end of my career, maybe I moved over to the Philippines, play there in the UFL. Um, but yeah, okay, as you can see, it happened a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. and I'm in good age, football age. And how, how old are you? 29. 29. I'll look younger. <laughs> you look 25. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, uh -huh. I'm just happy that, that Ceres and uh, my club agreed to everything and make the deal happen. All right. I know that you were also being recruited by another top team, which is Global. Um, how did recruitment go, and how did you decide to finally join Ceres? Well, um, the effort from Ceres side was, was uh, yeah, showed me that they really want to have me in the team and the club. And, and of course, the opportunity to play the AFC Cup is, uh, is, a, big, yeah, is a big reason for me to join Ceres. What do you think can you provide the team? I mean, apart from leadership, apart from experience. Um, last year, you won the UFL League, as you mentioned, but uh, you lost to Kaya FC in the UFL Cup. Um, what else does the team lack, or what else can you improve on in order to come out strong, not just in the UFL, but also in the AFC? Coach? Um, for me, no, uh, of course, uh, the experience is there. Um, but uh, all in all, he's, a, he's an in, impact player also, you know. Uh, he, he can help the team in all aspects, in, uh, in, uh, in speed, in uh, endurance and everything, you know. Uh, he reads the, the game well. Mm -hmm. I think adjustment uh, from Germany in here. It's going to take a few more games, you know, but uh, uh, it's showing already. We, we played all the three games, two tune-up games in Singapore and uh, the first game with the first Miralco. It's just three games, but uh, as far as I can see, 
adds up uh, long that he's going to be really jelly well uh, with the team you know, because he's, he's, a, he's a smart player and um, yeah, he's been playing soccer for a long time already so adjustment uh, adjustment wise I think um, it's not going to be too long yeah? and uh, we'll be ready for uh, AFC on uh, February 23rd. Who do you think you'll be facing in the UFL finals? Well, we forget them. Uh, there's, there's a couple of clubs that are strong. You know, nobody is there. Meralco is good. Um, Kaya is, uh, is a fighter, you know, Stadion is even there in the mix, so, you know, it's football, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the world's uh, best sport because of this, this kinds of, uh, you know, you never know what happened, what's going to happen in every year. You could be the strongest in the lineups and uh, you have the best players, but in a certain day, uh, the ball is out, anything could happen. Um, what we can do is give 100% in every game and uh, hopefully we get the win. What do you think? will it take to make your team a champion? What uh, will give you a distinct advantage? For us, you know, um, um, for me, basically, it's the, the attitude of players. You know? That's number one for me. As long as the attitude is good and uh, they, they all uh, think positive, mm -hmm. you know, they, they lift up everyone from the team, I think that's one of the keys. You know? The egos are going to be there. If you have good players, uh, every player has their own ego. So mm -hmm. if you try to contain that and uh, put it on a positive note, I think uh, that's the best weapon that you can have. Mm -hmm. you know, even uh, you have best players, but everyone's fighting in the field. I don't think you can Well said, win. well said. No matter how talented yeah. your stars are, if they yeah. don't get along, yeah, it's going to be hard yeah. to perform well. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Stefan. As I mentioned, I watched your game before um, against Uzbekistan back in the Philippine arena. And I remember you scoring the lone goal for that game. And um, coming from that performance or in that game, what do you think does the Philippine team have to improve on when it comes to a level of playing? Where are we right now? And um, where do you think we'll go in the, in the year to come, in 2016? It's a lot of things, uh, a lot of, of factors for we have to step up everybody, like the the team players of Ascals. I think the, the success of the Ascals goes hand in hand with the UFL. So if the UFL will become stronger the next day, next year and next month, the Ascals will, will earn a lot of them. And yeah, it's it's not only about the Ascals or only about the UFL. It's going hand in hand. What uh, can we do to to raise the level, rather, of football? We should telecast it more. Like, bring it on the TV, let the, let the people know how, how much fun and how inspiring football is. And so we will get the good youth players with the good education and stuff. And like, for me, it was like, when I was younger, I only had the opportunity to play football, to make something out of my life. So. I think there's many people, many kids in the Philippines who, who can have the same same way as I have. Last question. I think there's a, a rule now limiting the teams to only five foreigners. Do you think that helps? That kind of rule helps in the growth of Philippine football in general? By yes. limiting the number of foreigners? Yes, of course. Why? Because you don't have the choice then to bring in players but from then it also know kind of limits the experience that we get from people outside, right? So how do you balance that? Um, I think it's it's okay. The rule is, is very okay because, you know, I come from Germany and they had the rule too because six, seven years ago, Germany uh, got in a knockout stage in the European Championship because they had no younger players and no German players. And so they did the rule too. Mm -hmm. And so they had no choice. They have to force mm -hmm. the younger players to step their level. Then that that rule forces everyone to step up, yeah. big time. So we can um, raise the level of football, not just here in the Philippines, but also in the world stage. Well, you being here, I think, does that for all the players, and we're happy to see you playing on our on our fields. Thank you so much for coming over. Congratulations and good luck with the rest of the season. All right, that's all we have for today. You just got served.